care of is for a contusion. And we have a contusion here in the forearm, uh, as indicated. And again, this is a closed wound, so we may not need uh, to wear gloves, but, um, but just for video purposes, uh, for wound care, we'll keep the gloves on. So with this wound, uh, we we'll just want to inspect it and um, find out how large the, the size of the contusion and shape of the contusion is. Uh, then we want to get our materials. One thing that we want to do is um, we wanna, we're going to be making a donut pad for, for this contusion. So we want to make sure that we have a, a piece of a foam or felt, whatever you prefer to use, that is going to be large enough to cover the, um, not only the wound, but obviously have some um, area on the outside. So once we have the shape, um, and what I'm going to do with the, this foam is I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to cut a little circle or triangle in here to get it started. And then once I have it started, I can either try that again to make it bigger. The purpose of the donut is to so that the wound can be on the inside, the contusion. And all of the weight and pressure will be on the outside of the wound. So, so you want to make sure that the donut is big enough so it doesn't push on the wound itself. Okay, so once we think we have one, again, we can test it to see if we need to um, change the size of it. So if we test it on, on the individual, we would lay it over it, and then we would push down to simulate any type of pressure or force. If she says that she still feels a little bit on the corner, then we would make that adjustment uh, if we needed to. Okay, and then again we would test it again, putting all the pressure on the, on the outside, and again ask her if she felt it. If she doesn't feel it, then uh, we would have her hold that. And we can attach that by multiple ways. We can use an elastic wrap. Uh, I'm going to use some elastic stretch tape uh, for this. Uh, and again, if you wanted to, you can put pre wrap down before. Um, and while she's holding that, I'm just going to attach the, the donut pad over the injured area, overlapping the tape or wrap by at least 50%. And then I'd have her contract your muscle and put the tape around. Anytime that you go around the wrist, or forearm, it's a muscle, it's good to contract it. And then, that's fine. And then I'm going to test it then again to ask her if it's too tight or if she feels any pressure when I push it on the, the donut pad over the wound. Uh, I would also, uh, you know, remind her to, you know, keep that area clean. Um, if, it, if it gets any worse or she sees any sign of in, inflammation, uh, she needs to I see a doctor or med get, seek medical attention, and uh, to uh, also remind her to uh, keep the donut, donut pad because we can reuse that um, uh, each time, uh, whether she goes home or she goes out to play. And uh, you also want to make sure that you um, throw all of your uh, trash and uh, gloves away uh, and the biohazard stuff when you're when you're done. And that's it.